Yo, yo, what's up, YouTube? It's Kachu Master here again today for another video. So for today's video, it's a moment you've all been waiting for the Vertigo tutorial. I don't want to spend too much time on the intro, but before we begin, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe down below, comment on the video, I'm going to do next, and hit the notification bell so you guys can never miss a video from me. Also, please don't forget to follow me on my social media links, which will be in the description box down below, so you guys can go check me out. So I'm going to give you ideas. If you guys do contact me on social media, please leave it to your fan because I talk to so many people outside of YouTube, and if I don't know who you are, I'm not going to contact you back. Without further ado, let's get right into the Vertigo tutorial. I'm off today and uh, I'm here now with uh, playing cards, knock playing cards, and I I'm gonna actually show you guys how to do the vertigo cut. There's a couple things I want to say before we begin. The first thing is this is an intermediate to advanced cardistry cut, so I would recommend being at least a year or two, or at least maybe even a couple months into cardistry at this point, knowing a bunch of the basic moves because that's basically what's used here. One more thing is if you are right-handed, you hold the deck in your left hand, but if you're left-handed, you hold the deck in your right hand. Just so you guys know, uh, in case you guys are right or left-handed, but I'm right-handed, so I'll be holding the deck in my left hand for this tutorial, but uh, that, that's how it's going to work. So uh, let, let's change angles, and I can uh, start showing you guys the cut. So yeah, let's go. So for part one... What you're going to do, the hand that you don't have the deck in, you're going to take your ring finger and your thumb of that hand, you're going to put your ring finger on the top right corner and your thumb on the bottom left corner. What you're going to do is you're going to lift up probably about 5 to 15 playing cards, just like that. It, it, 5 to 15 should be perfectly enough. Now what you're going to do is take your index finger of that same hand and you're going to spin the cards around. Just pushing on the cards until the index finger appears underneath those spun cards. So your index finger should be right underneath this packet right here. Okay. So basically you're going to cut off that many from the deck. If I just imagine I had the deck. You're going to peel off that many. Take your index finger. Spin it all the way around until your index finger ends up under there. And then you're going to take your middle finger up here. And you're going to peel off one card from the top and basically what's happening is you're going to take your index finger that's stuck down here and you're going to move it out of the way so that it can hold on to this card with your middle finger basically you're just going to keep a grip on your ring finger and your thumb on the on the cards the entire time just so this all can happen so let me show you that one more time when you have the deck you're going to place your ring finger on the top right corner, your thumb on the bottom left, and you're going to lift up about 5 to 15 cards. That's all you need. Okay? And then once you have this packet, you're going to take your index finger, you're going to put it on the top edge of the cards, and you're going to spin the cards around, just pushing on the cards all the way around until your index finger lays straight on the bottom of this card. Then, with your middle finger, you're going to take your middle finger and you're going to peel off the top card, and when you peel this off, your index finger is going to come out and hang on to that card with your middle finger and just move it out from the deck. Just like that. So after you finish part one, which you peel out the cards, you're going to show the A. And you're going to stick the cards, this card that you peeled out, in there but out jogged a little bit. After you do that, you're going to take the two fingers you were just holding it with and peel it out and place it on top of the deck. While you're doing that, you're going to take your index finger and you're going to spin the cards back so that the cards are face up. Then you're going to show the A again and you're going to stick those cards right in here and score them up with the bottom packet. And you should be able to just let go and keep your hand free. Now what you're going to do with that same hand is you're going to take your middle finger and your thumb and you're going to slide them across the edge to these two corners, the top right corner and the bottom right corner. And you're going to peel off probably 5 to 15 cards again. And you're going to finish the, the cut, and you're going to peel out these cards and flip them face up on top. Now, once they're flipped face up, you're going to go up with the cards, and you're going to move your hands so that you can grab them and flip them down. Just like that. So you can flip them face down, and make sure they're out jogged a little bit just so you have room to grab them. 
Now, once you place them down, you're going to flip them back over, but you're gonna keep them down just like you did. When you flip them over, you're gonna show the A cut just like this, and you're gonna complete the cut so that these cards are now face out from out jog from the deck. And then you're basically gonna take the cards with your index finger and your thumb, peel them out and flip them over into this hand. So that's part two. Now we can move on to part three. So part three is probably the most difficult part of this trick. This is where you kind of have to be advanced a little bit. So you did part one, which you spun and peeled out the cards. You did part two where you did a bunch of Charlie's and you basically just spun the deck out of the deck and then and it's just chaos. Now once you're at this point, when you've peeled out the card from the out jogged, you have it held like this with your middle finger, ring finger, and pinky on the left edge of the cards, your thumb on the right edge, and your index finger is curled up behind the deck and it's kind of pushing in a little bit so it's making like a bend in the cards. You kind of want that to happen because you're going to do a flinging motion where you surely a cut the cards and before you finish you fling these cards into the packet and then you just close the cards. So here's what's going to happen. You have these three fingers on the left, your thumb on the right, and your index finger curled up underneath and it's making sort of a bend. Not a lot of a bend but it's kind of making a slight bend in the cards. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to surely cut these and before you finish you're going to hold the cards like this so that they don't close by themselves. And you're going to take the cards, bend them, and basically what's going to happen is you're going to bend back with all fingers and you're just going to keep pushing and then you're just going to let go. And letting go of the cards should fling it if you keep them like maybe a couple inches away should be able to fling the cards, flip the packet, and land in between the cut that you already have in this hand. And then you should be able to just close the rest on top of it, square it up, and, and that's vertigo. So to explain part three one last time, just so you guys can get it. You did the Charlier, but you didn't finish it. You're holding it like this in your hand before you finish it. And you have this packet held with these two fingers, this thumb, and the, and the index finger curled up in the back. You're going to put a little bit of a bend, but not a lot. And basically, you're going to hold them maybe a couple inches away, just so there's enough room for them. Then, you're going to let go of the cards in your right hand, and they should flip and land in between the cut that you have in your left hand. And sometimes you'll screw up, but you know what? You just do it again until, until it happens. And this is what's going to happen at the beginning. When you first practice, you're going to fail. You're going to hit stuff. You're going to do whatever... But once you get better at it, you should be able to just fling the cards right in between and close the cut up. And that is Vertigo. Yo guys, I just finished the tutorial. I'm so excited. I'm going to go edit this right now. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Keep mastering life.